Hello everyone, thank you for watching my video today on polynomial long division. As you open up our notes for today, you'll notice there's a few problem warm up. So if you can pause this video and try those problems on your own and come back and check them when you're ready, that would be great. Okay, here are the answers to your warm up problems. Okay, so the reason why we're doing long division on problem number one that you probably learned in fifth or sixth grade is because today we're gonna talk about polynomial long division and the steps are pretty much exactly the same. Let's take a look at the division algorithm for integers and also for polynomials. So for integers, we need 72 divided by eight it's exactly 9. So we can say 72 equals 8 times 9 plus a remainder of 0. Well, if we did 72 divided by 7, we could say that it would be 10 with a leftover 2, right? So we can say that 72 equals 10 times 7 plus 2. The same is true for polynomial long division, right? If we were going to divide x squared minus 1 over x plus 1, it would cancel out the x plus 1s. We're left with x minus 1, so we can simply say this is our answer, plus 0. But if we're going to divide it by x plus 2, if we divide this, and we'll show you how to do this in this video today, our answer would be this with a remainder of 3. So we'd say that it would be equal to this plus 3. Okay. So let's take a look at our first example. x minus 2 is going to go into 6x cubed minus 19x squared plus 16x minus 4. When we do long division, first of all, very important here, if there's any terms that are missing, you'll have to fill them in with a 0. All right, what do I mean by that? Let's say this 16x wasn't here. You would not want to just skip that there. You'd want to put a plus 0x right there. Okay, so we'll see why when we do one later on today that's missing something. But this one is not missing any terms. It's x cubed, squared, first power, and then nothing. They're constant, so we're good. Okay? Secondly, when we divide, we only divide first term into first term. So we have 6x cubed divided by x, and what's left is 6x squared. I'm going to put that above my x squared over here. The next step in long division is to multiply this times this. So we get 6x cubed minus 12x squared. The next step in long division is to subtract. If we do this right, these should cancel every time. If that does not happen, you've done something wrong, please go back and check. Then we have negative 19 minus negative 12, which is negative 7x squared. And then we bring down everything that's left over. And then we simply repeat the process. All right, so now we divide x into this term. So negative 7x squared over x, and that's negative 7x. Put that here, negative 7x, and then repeat the process here. So next is to multiply. Next is to subtract. Bring down the 4, and then repeat the process one more time. So 2x over x is 2, so plus 2. Multiply 2 times x minus 2. And if this happens, that means they're perfectly, it's perfectly divided. It's a perfect factor of that original equation. So we could write 6x cubed, sorry, 6x squared minus 7x plus 2 is our quotient, and our remainder is 0. And then we can write The original equation in factored form, the original expression in factored form of x minus 2 times 6x squared minus 7x 
plus two. All right, now really we want to continue here and see if we can factor that any further. So let's try it. Let's see if we can factor this any further. So let's see, this would be two and one. So the only way this would probably work would be three X and two X. Yes, this does actually factor further. This would be negative three, this would be negative four, which would give us negative seven X. So this is completely factored form. Okay, let's take a look at another example. So we're going to go x squared plus 2x minus 3 goes into 2x to the fourth plus 4x to the third minus 5x squared plus 3x minus 2. Divide first term into first term, we get 2x to the second power. So please put that over this, 2x to the second power right there. Multiply, you get 2x to the fourth plus 4x to the third minus 6x squared. And now we'll subtract. The first term should cancel out. If it didn't, you did something wrong. The second term also cancels out here, which is good news. It doesn't have to happen, but it does happen here. And then we got negative 5 minus negative 6, so negative 5 plus 6, which is 1x squared, and bring down everything else. Then divide first term into first term. We get 1. Multiply it back down here. Subtract, we get x, and then negative 2 plus 3 plus 1. So again, we want to try to divide first term into first term here, but you can't divide x squared into x evenly, which means we're done. And that tells us that this is our remainder. So our quotient is 2x squared plus 1. And our remainder is x plus 1. So if we're going to write our answer out here, or our final answer, what we would get, it would be our quotient plus our remainder over our original denominator. Okay, so this is the same as that. All right, so for the rest of these problems here, it'd be a good idea to pause the video after each one, try them on your own, and come back and check the video as you go. So for each one, starting right now with number three, pause the video, try number three, and come check your answer when done. Okay, here is the third one. Pause the video as long as you like on this one and then try the fourth one. Now, if I remember correctly on the fourth one here, to miss out for the missing x squared term right here. So you have to make sure you put a plus zero x squared in when you do this long division. All right, try this one now. Okay, here's the answer number four. And pause it again and work on number five. Here's number five. And one more time, pause when you're ready and work on number six. And there's number six. Okay, thank you for watching my video today on polynomial long division. 
our next video, we'll talk about another way to divide polynomials as long as the bottom term is linear. As always, I appreciate you watching and we'll hopefully see you again soon.